Why do I charge what I charge for my services? One of the typical questions that crop up at that time is that people want to know how much I charge for my services. And their first reaction is usually, oh my God, this is super expensive. Ultimately, you're only lending a pair of hands and I can find that much cheaper. One of the things I tend to discuss at this point is to ask why they called me in the first place. And very often that's because they lost motivation or they needed an extra pair of hands or they didn't quite know how to move forward. And this is exactly where the added value comes from. As a professional organizer and declutterer, I bring with me the ability to keep my clients motivated, to give tips, to indicate avenues that we could go through, um, to bring expertise on how to deal with particular situations, with particular items, with particular ideas the clients might come up with. This far, this is fairly common and usually most declutterers and organizers would go down similar lanes, but then there is a specialty that comes with each and every one of us. In my case, one of the specialties is that I'm able to plan ahead, that I'm fairly good at picking up ideas and avenues where to go next and how to proceed in a way that doesn't upset the household to a point where you can't live in the space anymore. I'm also very good at holding the space for my clients. What does that mean? I take away a particular problem from them. When you're decluttering, you're basically doing two things at once. You have to look at every single item, pick it up, look at it, make a decision. Do I keep this or don't I? If I don't, where does it go? Is it something to sell? Is it something for charity? Is it something for the dustbin? That takes a lot of energy. And by making those decisions, you may very easily lose track of the ultimate goal that you were steering towards. So in an ideal world, you would be making decisions and moving forward. But let's face it, decisions and looking at items always deviate in one or the other direction. And one part of my job is to keep my eye above the waves and keep sight of the ultimate goal and gently steer my clients in the right direction. That doesn't mean I stick to a straight path, but when they move sideways, I gently bring them back or potentially I propose to take a break because another role I take on is the one of timekeeper. There is such a thing as overload and it's very different for each of my clients. Some people can work for three hours without stopping. Others need a break after 20 minutes, depending on their mental state, on their ability to make decisions, on their ability to move forward and stay motivated. Sometimes people are just distracted. There may be animals in the house or small children or other people wandering around. All of these are things that need to be taken into account. Ultimately, my main job is to keep the momentum going in a way that allows my clients to feel at ease with what they're doing, to take away the stress of handling items they've taken decisions about. So let's say they've taken a decision, a hard decision on letting something go. My job is to make it go to a place where they don't see it for the foreseeable period of time during the decluttering and to bring like items together, basically organize stuff as it has to go out, thereby making more space for the actual sorting process, for the decision process and creating mind space for my clients to actually take decisions in. Through that process, gradually things become easier and ultimately the decluttering process will be a success. Looking back to the initial question, this is awfully expensive for just an extra pair of hands. If you take into account all the things that happen in the background without active involvement of my clients, you can probably appreciate that this is a highly skilled activity and not just somebody who lends a pair of hands. And that is why I charge what I charge for what I do. If you want to know more, 
Look at the other videos I've done. Read my blogs. In either case, stay clutter aware and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.